Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Our next guest was dubbed the world's worst mom after allowing her nine-year-old son to ride the New York City subway alone. She received a lot of harsh criticism, but now the mother of two has made it her mission to help parents raise self-reliant kids without going nuts or without worrying. And joining us now is Lenore Skenazy. She's the author and founder of the Free Range Kids Movement, and she is now the host of a series that's called The World's Worst Mom. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Hi out there. You know, it's a title no mom ever wants to have, world's worst mom. But it seems like you have embraced <laughs> it and made it super positive. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I think most moms out there feel at some point they're the world's worst or certainly America's worst, and that's okay. We can't do it all right, and we can't do it all perfectly, and, and we forget that that's okay. Kids can roll with a bunch of punches. They always have. There's so many helicopter parents out there. So many of us are worried. We're paranoid. We hear news reports about kids being abducted. We worry about grades and kids getting into college. We worry about them just even on the street. I mean, I remember somebody pulling over once when my five-year-old was just walking around in the sidewalk in front of our house saying, where's her house? Where's her mom? And I'm like, she's just right outside the house. Yeah, well, you know, this week there was this big story of the parents in Maryland who let their 10-year-old and walk home with their 6-year-old about a mile from the park, and they were picked up by the police. The police came to the family's home. CPS threatened to take their children away, all because we have this inflated idea that anytime kids do anything on their own, they're in terrible danger, which, thank God, isn't the case. And on World's Worst Mom, the show, I really take parents who are so worried for their kids and I say come on let them go let them let them play in the park or climb a tree and and then they realize like what was I so worried about it's not crazy like you were not crazy to let your five-year-old play in front of your house that's good so what's the, what are some of the first steps we can take especially for people who hold on too tight what can we do to let go a little bit and let our kids learn self-reliance well, um, I give a couple tips that uh, I'll, I'll share with you. One is when you're at the bus stop with your kid and there are four other parents at the bus stop with their kids, say, hey, you know what, I'll watch them all, okay? I don't think the, this neighborhood is not so terrible. I don't worry about banshees. Let me, let me do something neighborly. And so you're recreating sort of an old-fashioned idea of community. One mom watching all five kids. Um, another thing you might want to try is a day without your cell phone. Uh, when my son was 10, I got a frantic call from him one morning saying, Mom, Mom, I'm like, oh my God, what? He said, can I eat another piece of banana bread? <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> yes. And I realized, uh, you know, first of all, I made that banana bread for you. That's the kind of crazy world worst mom I am. Secondly, I don't want my kids to think that they need permission or can't even make their own decisions. But when you have a cell phone with you all the time, it's easy to just sort of never cut the umbilical cord. And so... You know, at certain age, they're going to have their phone with them all the time, no matter what. So you don't take yours. Just leave them so that they have to make some decisions. Remember, when you were coming home from school, when you were a 10-year-old, you couldn't call your mom. Can I, can I stop at the park? Can I pet the dog? Can I eat a candy bar? Do I have to do my homework first? So give some of that freedom and responsibility back to your kids. I read once in, in, in a, a saying, if you're overprotective, you teach your child to not trust his or her own abilities. I'm sure you'd agree with that. I really agree with that. And, you know, I think that the best, the greatest gift my mom gave me was believing in me. You know, like she really thought I could do anything. And, and I eventually took it to heart. And if you are doing everything with your kid or everything for your kid, you know, whether that's homework or taking them everywhere or being at every practice and then discussing it afterwards, what you're telling them is, yes, I love you, but I don't believe in you. I don't think you could do this without my input. I don't think you could do this safely if I wasn't here. And, and kids get that message. And so I'm not saying that parents are to blame for that. We live in a world that's, being, that's hectoring us to be worried all the time. But kids get a message that the parents are the ones who are competent and good in the world, and they're just these, um, they're babies. Nobody. I agree. And really quickly, Lenore, what about kids walking alone? At what age, how do you know when they can walk to school by themselves or to a friend's house or somewhere else? Well, first of all, I would never just throw them out without first teaching them, you know, how to cross the street safely and don't go off with anybody. But the rest of the world sends their kids to school starting at age seven, whether that's walking to school, taking the school bus, or taking a public bus. 
And they don't think that's too young. And so why is it just our country that has come to think of seven-year-olds as totally incompetent? There's something wrong with our society, not with our parents. Parents are just taking the cue from the TV that says, don't let your children do that. Hug them a little tighter. You never know. But somehow the rest of the world has got a grip and we don't. I love your message. Great show. Great, great to talk to you today. Thank you so much. It's Molly. And here's the information so that you can check out World's Worst Mom. The premiere is happening this Thursday, January 22nd, and the show airs on Discovery Life Channel.